Hi everyone, welcome back. I have 2020 through 2024 Hobonichi boxes here and I actually have kept them all as you can tell. <laughs> um, and I use them to store nothing in this one, but I do use them to store the accessories that I have for my books that I buy each year. I think these first two are empty. Um, I wanted to just check what accessories I have, especially things like um, cover on covers and things like that. I haven't bought any of those yet, even though I've placed two orders. And this is probably something I should have done a long time ago. So the 2022 one is the first one that has things in it. So I thought I'd just do it with you today because, um, I, I don't know, some people aren't aware of what accessories are available. And maybe if you want to know what things look like, I'm just going to take everything out of all of the boxes and we can go through what's in them. Obviously, 2022 is my favorite box because it's pink <laughs> and they're all, the green one is a little bit bigger than all the others. They had a, I don't know, something happened that year after that and they made them all just a tiny bit smaller, not very much, maybe about an inch or so. This is one that's a bit heavier. It's got a ton of stuff in it. Um, books, mainly books. So in 2025, I'm using two Hons and so far three weeks. Um, a couple more things coming, including books that do can go in covers. Um, so yeah, I think it's nice to have a look through them all. And maybe I can throw some stuff out as well. I don't think I'm going to need all the boxes, but I am going to keep them. They're fairly unobtrusive in a box. Um, <laughs> but I think I kept this because I was going to uh, perhaps journal with it or something. So that can obviously go. This bit of paper off a Midori thing can go. I have this to make these little ghosts and I never made them. Um, and then I've got the little booklets that came. I had intentions to cut these up and use them in journaling. Um, I can't quite get rid of them. I've got some of the brown pens from 2023. Three of those. I suspect there'll be a few pens in here. Oh, here's the blue one from 2021. Um, I do have the Doraemon cover and it comes with this extra cover. I think it's just the one extra. Yeah, that you can place over it so that you have a different picture each time. It's super cute. I love it, but I'm thinking it's not quite my style anymore. So I'm probably going to sell my Doraemon cover and it will be sold, of course, with this piece as well. All right, another piece of paper that can go. I have this rivet bookmark with three, um, three bookmarks, which was for the weeks. I, I don't know whether it will fit the cousin. No, too short for the cousin, but it fits the weeks just nicely. They just pop out the bottom. I think, look, I'm gonna check that. I'm not sure now, but this might be an A6. Oh yeah, no, it's too, sh it's, I mean, it just fits, but um, I think it's for the A6. Okay, pop that over there. Then I have a clear cover on cover for the weeks. All right, cool. I have um, in total four weeks for next year. These that come with all the time. I also have this clear on cover on cover, sorry. I also have this clear cover. This one is for the A6. Um, it's very pretty and um, I've got a pink cover coming so it could look nice on that. These cover on covers come in this plasticky pa um, package with a colored paper underneath so that you can see through it and see what it looks like. But I don't think I need those. Um, I'd forgotten that I bought this so 
this is from the year before um, I can't remember what it's called now I've forgotten but it's very pretty <laughs> uh, I like that a lot and I had no idea I bought this one um, I was actually just gonna buy it again and I think I didn't <laughs> so it looks like I can have a couple of fun tries with my weeks this year so two weeks covers plus the clear weeks cover and an A6 cover. Oh, there's another clear cover. All right, cool. And then I've got the Apanchu Asagi one as well. Now, I had this on the yellow weeks, but then my friend in Japan sent me the actual hardcover yellow Apanchu Asagi cover. So, I mean, weeks. So I didn't need a cover. So I think there's more covers. Oh, here they are here. We might just go through all the covers first. Okay, I've got another Clear Weeks cover that's in its plastic still. Okay, a lot of Weeks covers. And I have these two A5 covers. So one is the stripes. I have used this before, I think. And one is the um, uh, Desenka cover which I really like. I've got this in a week's version at the moment on my Gidget journal. So two A5 covers, one A6 cover, and a ton of weeks covers. Can you tell that the weeks is probably my favorite book out of all of them? Okay, let's put them under here. I might put these notebooks over there. I've got a pocket for the um, weeks. I've got all these Midori papers that I thought I would use, but looks like I'm not going to. Um, I always keep them because I think I'm going to use them. And in here, oh, I kept that box. <laughs> um, all right, the Hon belly band. I've got one, two, three, four of these Life is Present books from 2024. Put that with the 2022 one. Um, this is the About Liberty Fabrics when I bought one of the, I think the uh, Liberty Fabrics Hon. Um, I think I won't keep that. All right, so we've got some books now as well. We've got two of the Hobonichi papers. They have a little picture here of um, the Aristocats. Um, very cute. I've started one of these. I think it's the Sean Tan Eric one I've got on my bedside as my 3 a.m. journal um, so just if I can't sleep or I wake up and I think of something I write it down and what's good about these is you can just tear the page out and then you can take that to your notebook or throw it away if you've already dealt with that or whatever so those are cool I've got two of them I thought I had more but I don't which is kind of a good thing uh, then I've got an A6 notebook. This is the Tomataro Makino, um, yeah, Tomataro Makino book from 2024 as well, I think. And it just has the standard grid inside, purple grid, then green grid, then blue grid. I'm sure there's a red in there somewhere. No, just the three colors. Oh, there it is red at the front. Okay. So good to know that I've got that as well. Um, I also have two of the plain ones. Um, these are the same as this, but obviously A5 sized. So um, good to know I've got those as well because I do use a lot of undated books in my day to day. I have these two from Sterling Ink, I think. Yeah, Sterling Ink. Um, this is the 524 page A6 purple cover, um, foiled, well, that's a bit ugly, um, foiled edges, uh, and I bought the plastic cover as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's passport size, not, not A6. So there it is with the A6 book as well. So you can see it's much smaller. And then I also bought the standard TN sized um half number of pages 
so also gold edged also with a cover I was gonna put it in a tin but it's not quite the right size it it sticks out like you can't put it in there with anything else it's kind of um, I don't know I kind of regret buying these in a way um, but could be handy for a, like a 3 a.m. journal as well. I want to put one of those on my side table in the living room or, or my kitchen bench, one of those places, just to have random notes in that I can tear out and take with me. And I also want one on my desk at work. So if you know me already, you know I've got tons of A6 covers and these fit so nicely just in a standard A6 cover. So I'll be taking one to work just to leave on my desk at work and I'll have one here on somewhere in the living room or kitchen area and then one is also on my bedside table already. So this is kind of a good size for that as well. I could just have just this on its own without a cover but not really something I'm too keen on right now. Uh, and this pocket I'll just leave with the week's things there. I also have this little box. Okay. So this is the 2024 sample of the layout for um, the A6. Um, but it's a passport size. It's not actually for the A6. It's just for um, a sample. And they made it passport sized which is super cute. And everyone went crazy and said, oh my God, I want a passport sized Hobonichi. <laughs> so yeah, this is just to test the paper. Um, obviously I have one in uh, Japanese and one in English here. I've probably got a few more. Here's the booklet from 2023. So we've got 2024, 2023, 2022. I'll come back to those. There's the 2021. That was a cool one. Another 2022, or oh, a couple of those. Okay. My little Doraemon. Um, that can go. And then we've got the freebie spoons, which I didn't really know what to do with. So they're just in this box as well. And a few more of these. These come with the drawer pouches. I do love the colors. I might keep those for journaling. And I don't need that. I don't need that. And then in the bottom here, I have a little pouch with a lot of cool things in it. Let's see. Yeah, just um, die cuts and things in there. And right in the bottom, this is the box that my five year came in a long time ago. Um, I've bought a couple of five years and failed and I've got another one this year. So the five year comes with this piece of paper, which has the layout. It shows you the layout with your five years down the side of one particular day and then the blank page on the other side. So it kind of gives you this to sort of play and figure out what you might want to do in your five year. And I'll talk through what I'm going to do for this year with mine next year. Um, in a video soon, I think. Actually, it hasn't come yet. It's in my next Hobonichi order. So just a few like dashboard, A6 kind of dashboards <laughs> that I've gotten over the years and can't quite bear to part with just yet. So these ones from Hello Paper Cat are my favorites. I probably should use them, shouldn't I? And this little piece here as well. So I'll keep this um, maybe with these things in it. And then these booklets, I always plan to do something with them <laughs> um, and they never do, but oh, I think I will. I think I'll still do it. I reckon this one was one of my favorites. It was the first one I got. I don't think I got a 2022 one. I'm not sure. Um, I mean a 2020 one with this box. I didn't get the box either. My friend Shauna ordered some stuff for me that year in the first year. I think I just bought one A6 Techo, which means I should have got one of these. Maybe I've left it in the in the Techo or something. So this is like ideas on how to use it. There's 40 ideas here on how to use your Techo. And on the back is a lot of the books that were released that year. I have both of those in my collection. 
Yeah, I've got a few of those things in my collection. So, I mean, I probably won't use this. There's no reason for me to cut it up. There's no really cute pictures or anything. But, except for this one. Um, but, I don't know. Keepsake. I, I keep things. I've thrown things out this time. So, you know, I've done something useful. <laughs> but um, I do tend to keep a lot of things. So I'll keep that box. Um, I feel like I had more accessories than this, but um, it's okay. I don't mind that I don't. So I think I'll put them back in this green box. I'm going to put the covers. So I think this time I'll use them for like proper, proper things. So I don't think this fits. No. This always comes folded when you get an A5 cover and then the others fit on top. So I'll have the covers in one box. In this box, I'm going to put the books, the yellow box. I kind of feel like writing on them so I know, but I just, just don't want to write on them. Uh, leave these two out and turn them into my 3am books etc immediately I just found another couple of things so two more pockets They're the ones that come with your weeks but you could put them in your cousin or something as well I've got one of these pieces of plastic yeah it's the only one this is used to um, protect your weeks when you have a fabric one but they also make good dashboards for inside of your weeks as well. It looks a bit big for this one, but let's see. Yeah, so it could be a, a light pencil board in your book, but it does stick out if you can see there. But you can always trim it down with your um, paper trimmer. So I think I'll put these all together. Here are all the pens. I reckon I have more pens, so accessories. I'm sure I've got a ton more of these green ones. Um, and I also have the pink one from 2020. So it's pink and white. 2020 or 2020 or 2019. This one is 2022. That's 2023. This one's 2021. Mm, I have the pink one as well. So I'm going to put these all in another box. Let's put them to the side to be used later. So... Proper accessories can go in here, and if I find any more, uh, I'll also put these notebooks in here too. And I just found another pink one. I bought so many books in 2022. <laughs> uh, all the unboxings are on my YouTube channel if you would like to see them. Uh, and I do have I've got all the ones from this year, so I'm going to keep one out because I want to put it up as a poster in my mini office. They can all go in there. That's that one. Eventually, oh, let's put these in there as well. One day I'll make those. I might just put some removable labels on the boxes so that I know what's what. Covers. No, I can't remember now. Covers are in there, books in there, accessories in here. Uh, and then lastly, I'll skip 23, I think. 24, just so that I remember. I'm going to start collecting the things that I want to sell. So my Doraemon cover, sadly, is one of those. I'll put that in there for now. And I'll add more to it as I go through my actual covers. Okay, so I knew I had a ton more stuff hiding in the house so I thought we would go through it all let's just start at the top um, last year's gift for 2024 were these little bags and this was the one I really really wanted oh and one other um, and I kind of just popped stuff in here that I wanted to use and I mean obviously I haven't so I've got a Minimaru business card in here I've got four of the pens from 2024, uh, some of the uh, little pamphlets from 2024, 
I've got a Hon um, pencil board and I bought these uni pencils in these mini size and I kind of forgot I had them because they were stuffed away somewhere. <laughs> so um, these are from the Hobonichi website. Um, so I need to organize those. Um, I've also got, well, this is the book you saw in my unboxing video. And then I've got the 2023 one here as well. Um, here's the pretzel pouch, which was actually the other one I really wanted. And in here, I have this, my manga and I, um, micro pocket pouch. Uh, draw pouch and I've got a couple of these in here I was just stashing these that come out of the weeks and I bought the mini envelope set as well I've used one I think and you know then I popped them in here and forgot I had them so I'll put those in with the accessories and this I will put back on the shelf so I can use it properly I do have a Hon cover but it was kind of wrinkled Seems to have flattened out now, so maybe I'll look at using that for one of my new horns this year. I've got the Aristocats, one of the pockets, and I've also got the uh, pencil board here as well. These are A6, and I'm actually going to sell my Aristocats stuff, I think, so I'm going to put that in the sell box. And then I have my little A6 planner from 2023. I might have shown this already, I'm not sure. Um, that needs to go with all the other box planners. Here's one of the 2025 ones. I've got all these boxes. Um, I don't think I'll keep them. I used to keep them. I might keep the five year one. Now in here, what have we got? Ah, we've got PET and a ton of, wow, I did not know these were in here. Okay, definitely keeping those. And there's an envelope as well from the Kieran Buckley order. Okay, cool. Well, that needs to go in a different spot as well. I bought the notebooks for A5 last year. Obviously, I have not even opened them. So let's do that now. So there were two in the set, a cream color and a navy color. Um, and these have the 3.7 millimeter dot grid, I mean, square grid, same as the Hobonichi notebooks. So I'll put those in with the books and I will use them, plan to use them this year. Lastly, let's move this out of the way. I have my Dior box that I kind of kept the ribbon on and glued it into place and then put some cute washing on to hold it into place. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, some of the bands, I kind of was gonna journal with those. Uh, some notes from one of my, um, what are they called, Hobonichi papers. I've got this, which was my health journal. I think we pulled that out of a, um, I pulled this out of a planner cover the other day. Uh, this was so much fun, I really liked that. I've also got this, um, you know, elastic, uh, pen case in the Opanchu Usagi um, design so maybe I'll use that this year let's see I also have the masking tape or I can't remember what this is called it came in a couple of different colors and I obviously got the hot pink one and then promptly left it in a box to forget about so I've got a A6 notepad this is the um, Tomataro Makino cover. So that's excellent to have one of those. Got a couple of pencil boards in here. Um, the Weeks, hmm, let's see. The Weeks Mother one. So definitely want to use that. Maybe in my Mother Weeks, actually. I've got this crazy looking Apanchu Asagi one. Very cute. And I've got here um, the Doraemon one. You can see I definitely used it a lot. It's got a lot of, uh, I think that's probably gel pen or maybe fountain pen uh, on the back. I might see if I can clean that actually. 
And I've got my Yumi Kitagishi, um folders in here. I will keep those. Some uh, Coffee Monsters Co. clips. That would be handy to have elsewhere. And then I have the A5. Let's see if I can get these out. Yumi Kitagishi folders as well. And I am going to sell my A5 Yumi Kitagishi cover as well because I have the A6 and I have a use for it this year. And I feel like I might have been overzealous in buying both. And I think the A5 can go. I'm pretty sure. So I'm probably going to sell this. So I'll put that in a sell pile as well. Uh, here are all my Coffee Monsters Co. <laughs> sticker sheets that need de-beaning. Oh my goodness, there's so many. And there's some stickers and things in the bottom there. Okay, so I'll put leave those in there and we'll deal with that box later. So a lot more stuff. Um, I'll put it onto the side for a second because, I mean, you've probably already seen my unboxing, but here is the blue box for this year. So me finding all this extra stuff was um, maybe two weeks after I filmed the first part of this video. So then this arrived as well. So um, if I just turn it up this way so you can see, it's uh, the same as these last three. The first two, you can see here, um, the 2020 was quite a bit bigger. And then 2021, smaller than that, but still bigger than 2022. And then we've had a, con a consistent size since then. I have seen the super tiny ones on some people's videos. And I've never gotten a super tiny one. So very interesting. This was my second order, which you've probably seen, but things like this, I've just packaged into here. So the week's pockets, one, another notebook, and then this pouch from the mother and some pencil boards. I've put those in here for now, uh, but the rest of the stuff in here is books and the pens. Um, so I'm gonna leave all this in here because they are for setups very, very soon. So, let's go through what's remaining and we can work out what has to go where so in the 2020 box i had extra covers so i have my hon one here so i'll pop the hon cover in there i think that's it for covers and in the 2021 this one feels quite heavy was the 20th anniversary of Hobonichi. Uh, these are the books. Okay, cool. I have since decided that I would like to sell these, so they're going to go to the sell box. And in here, I can put my other Tomataro Makino, as well as these um, A5 notebooks. They're a bit smaller than A5. Let me just show you. The ones that you buy for the A5, you can see same height, but teeny bit narrower. I think that's so that when you put it in the cover with with an A5 notebook, that you've still got a bit of room for this to move around. I'm not sure actually, but I think that might be the reason. That kind of makes sense to me. Okay, that's all we have in terms of extra books. Slide that in there. 2022, my favourite box, has all the accessories. Okay, cool. This is the fun stuff. I guess I could put the pens in here, couldn't I? But I think for now I won't. Um, let's see what's in here. All these week's pockets can go in there. Um, I've got these little pieces that came in some of the covers so I'll, I won't put them in here I don't think but I will put this pouch in here and there's a bit of that plastic protectant I think my pencil boards must live somewhere else so I'm gonna leave those out for the moment I'm not sure I can't remember since I did this video this box feels empty 
box is empty. Hmm, let's come back to him in a minute. I'll just check this one. This one feels quite light. Okay, these were the things I was going to sell. So that's my Yumi Kitagishi A5 stuff. I'll get the rest of it off the shelf later. As well as the Aristocats. Um, I might see if anyone would like the Hon pencil boards because I don't, I don't like them. I'm not going to keep them. And that's it. So that means I might use this box then for, you know what, I'm going to keep that one. And this one that had accessories. I think it makes sense to pop all the pencil boards and things in here as well. Yeah. What was in this? I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I'll put these in here as well. So many, I probably should just let them go. Um, but there's another one. I kind of can't. So they can go in there and then I'll pop in just so that I know where they are, sort of. I hope I remember. Oh, there's some more Weeks pockets. So my pencil boards, um, my folders, some more pens. I'll keep these for journaling. I'll keep this for actually, mm, no, I'll put it in there till I do my setups. Pencils can stay out. And then these last few things are these envelopes. I'm just gonna store them in here so they don't go flying around. And then these little extras for now. Again, for setups. So they can go in there. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, I think these bags could probably go in here for now too until I figure out what I want to do next with those. Yay. Oh, to sell. I know it's not Hobonichi, but it's still for sale, so they can go in there. And I'll just sort out the other covers that are for sale soon. In the meantime, let's get all the boxes together for a family photo. <laughs> um, yeah, new box for 2025. Um, it, it did come packaged in another box, in a big brown cardboard box. So it, in fact, all of these were. I haven't had one before, touch wood, that didn't come inside of another box so they've, they've all been pretty well protected I have done something here but that's okay uh, let's write on these so we know what they are I'm gonna use these May Paper Co transparent sticky notes use them with a sharpie they're quite good so this box was covers This one is books. This one is accessories. One was empty and this one was to sell
So I store all these boxes in one of those IKEA white boxes that fit inside of the Kallax unit. It's a um, good size that fits these for lying this way and then this one has to come across here. And this guy's not going to fit, so may have to come with a new solution. Um, is it excessive to keep the boxes? 100%, but you know, I, I like that I can store things in them. I've always stored stuff in them, but it's always just been a mishmash of, you know, just throw it in whichever boxes I can, box I can reach. So now having them all separated into um, what's in them makes me makes it a lot easier so I can just reach for what I need. So that's awesome. Um, there is one more Hobonichi haul coming. I know I've done two already, um, but there was something I just really wanted to get and it came back in stock. And um, then I just grabbed, after looking through all these, I grabbed a couple of extra things that I thought would be useful for my setup. So um, stay tuned, it has shipped yesterday. Uh, so it should be here in a week or so, I'd say. Um, and then that's it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Although I've, I've, well, someone in the Facebook group had a great idea to have a book for recording childhood memories in the Onsodo uh, Rainbow book, Hon. <laughs> and I've just been through everything that I've got to see which one should suit my childhood memories the best. I think their idea was 90s memories and you know that's part of my childhood as well but I think I just want to do all all childhood memories um, and that rainbow book just seems perfect for it. I don't know that I've got anything else I mean I'm sh I've got many other books right um, and covers but that one just seems perfect for childhood memories because it's that kind of vintage rainbow look. I love rainbows. <sighs> so, I mean, I might just buy that locally just because it's, you know, I don't need to place an order um, for one book <laughs> from the Hobonichi website, but I'm very tempted. I think it's the same price regardless. But anyway, I will let you know what happens. Uh, I might just try to be good and use what I've got, but you know, might not. <laughs> all right. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It was a bit weird, I guess, because we just pulled out all the bits and pieces, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, seeing some of the older stuff that was used to be available. Uh, there's a couple of pens that um, I'm missing in here. So in this box, there was the dark blue, the green, like the grayish green and the teal kind of green. Um, and now we've got the new yellow and orange, yellow and reddish one. Um, there was one from 2019, which is pink and white. And I, I do have it. Someone sent it to me, a lovely, lovely subscriber. Um, and it's here. I, I do use it, but I just can't quite place where I've put it. I think it's inside of a planner. So I've got to go through them all, which I routinely do every year when I'm going for my new setups I do go through all of my old ones and pull out any accessories that um, you know don't need to stay in there because it's just the book that I want to keep not all the bits and pieces so that's my next step is to go through all of those it's quite a process setting up new planners isn't it <laughs> it's fun it's one of my favorite things to do all right thanks so much for watching I will stop talking now and see you super super soon thanks everyone bye